Hey, thanks for joining me in the Like Tech Kitchen. Today we've got a real treat for you, my good friend Annie at Hubson. Hooray! I've been good enough to send me this drone, which is not exactly the same drone that you've been seeing for a few months. It's a pro model. This is the Hubson X4F PV brushless motor drone, also known as the H501S X4 Pro. Now, the reason it's pro is because of this. This is their pro transmitter. It's pro in that you'll see it has a lot more switches. You don't have to push down on the gimbals to do things. It has gimbal controls that, well, work on other drones, not on this one. This drone happens to come with the obligatory uh, 10C battery that lasts about 20 minutes, they say, and the charger, uh, which works quite well. It takes about 210 minutes to charge. You've got two sets of propellers, both A's and B's, and the little tool here that holds the shaft steady when you uh, tighten the propellers on and off. So let's see how this works. Well, first we'll turn the transmitter on and we'll slide our battery in. And I'm doing this without the propellers on, obviously, I'm inside the house. So Annie, thank you again. You probably remember her from uh, Interdrone 2016, where we interviewed her. There's our startup sounds. And notice the lights and, okay, it says, calibrate me. And on here it says, okay, calibrate. So we compass one and we spin this a few times so those lights go out. Interesting how this actually works inside the house on my kitchen. Okay, that was done. Phase two, nose down, spin it around. You notice we got green lights now on the feet and we're spinning it around and we're waiting for it to finish. Okay, we're done. Compass calibration is done. And of course, GPS sim signal is lost. So let's talk a little bit about this. One of the things that's very cool about this is this is a very advanced drone. It is quite solid. Uh, you get quite a lot. You can buy this from uh, Amazon has it for $355. Gearbus has it in black for $281 and they have it in white for 286. I don't know why the prices are different. By the way, I want, I want to give a shout out to Hubson for making it other than white. I hate white drones. They're almost impossible to see high in the sky. Um, black, flat matte black. We'll see how that handles in the very, very hot Florida sun. Uh, I would prefer a bright color like an orange or a yellow, which are, or a green, which is very visible at a distance. Um, again, here's some highlights right off the website. We got the Pro Remote that makes it Pro, the Ha uh, brushless motors, the HD camera, 1080p HD camera, return to home function, the headless mode, which beginners would like, the follow me mode, which is supposed to have it follow you. And that's pretty much that. And you can notice from the remote, that the camera is working quite well, following us around. This is very interesting that it tells us right here, it's almost like clean flight, if you're familiar with FPV racing, where it actually tells you the yaw and the pitch and the rotation uh, right here on the transmitter. I know you can't see it now. I'll try and get a close-up of that later. Uh, some of the controls here are, as I mentioned, these have no use on these because there's no gimbal on the camera but we have a headless mode. By the way, you might notice I put some labels here because they use this remote for many different of the uh, drones that they make. So it's kind of universal to their pro line. So GPS and home were standard, but these buttons can be other things on different drones. So I labeled this button is for the headless mode, off, on. This is the GPS, on, off. Return to home, on, off, and follow me on off. Um, to take a picture, press and I need to label this, uh, exit, and it says it took a picture. There it is, photo. And if I press this, it's now recording video of me recording a video. And we'll press it again to stop it. Start the motors. There we go. And Climb, descend, spin, right, left, forward, 
reverse, sashay right, sashay left. I'm using very non-technical terms here. And as we speed it up, you can see it, the motors do change. Now, what's supposed to happen, and by the way, these are quite quiet, is depending on, for example, GPS on or off, the lights are supposed to change. We have green back here. I can see green indicates GPS is on. And if I change it, they change the yellow. I don't know if you can see that, GPS is off. Headless mode is no change. Return to home, no change. Red means low battery. Follow me, no change. And that's pretty much that. And of course, to turn the motors off, down and out. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, we're going to take this to the field tomorrow and see how she does. And find out if we have any bugs. Oh, yeah.